Hello, and welcome to another video on Agony. This footage is from the uh, playthrough of the demo I did on my channel. And what I want to talk about today are two subjects that seem to have been on people's minds recently. Those being release dates and censorship which I guess they haven't really been on people's minds recently as much as uh, they've sort of cropped up once again. Uh, first subject, release dates, seems to have people worried. The game was used to be confirmed to come out March 30th, 2018 and it is now March 16th, 2018. So halfway through that point in March. And the problem is, on the Steam page, the release date was changed from March 30th to just a vague 2018. There's no option to pre-order it on Amazon or GameStop or anything like that. In fact, on the French and German versions of Amazon, the release date is listed as December 2018, but according to one of the developers, that's just a placeholder date. The point is, it's now rather unknown when the game will come out, even though previously we had a confirmed date, and not something like quarter to 2017, as it was originally listed, but instead like an actual day. The reason for this is because even though the game is pretty much done, they still need to go through certification processes, like getting the rating, the ratings handled, which they're going for an M rating. They need to get retail distribution worked out. And there's also the question of how good a release date will be when there's other games being released around the same time like March 30th Far Cry 5 which is a you know, fifth game in a well-known series by a much larger publisher that can lead to some problems the developer said he still is aiming for uh, March 30th. But nothing is really guaranteed. Which is sort of the point. I mean, it might be pushed back a week, or moved forward a week. It's already been certified in Australia, as far as the rating goes, and surprise, surprise, it's a very raunchy game. And I guess on the same subject, people are still worried about censorship. And in a recent interview, the lead developer uh, said that they've been working closely with the various monitors and sensors figuring out what is and isn't allowed and what they were trying to do is rather than cut out entire scenes or whatever from the game they edit out small aspects of them so that those scenes are ultimately allowed but even in that case, on the on day one, there's going to be a patch available that will include or reinstate all of the cut content. It's the difference between an M rating and an adults-only rating or whatever. 
and whether or not it would be allowed to be sold at retails because like retail stores like Target and GameStop and even online stores like Steam have their limits with what they're allowed to sell or what they're willing to sell I should say I'm pretty sure it has more to do with sex than violence but like even violence I'm sure a scene like this here probably made some people really ask themselves alright are we really going to allow this on our store but if you want an idea of what the game will be like again Australia has gone through its classification which they rated as 18 plus and on a scale from very mild impact to high impact the game has high impact themes, violence, and sex. It has strong impact language and nudity, and moderate impact drug use. How, what exactly would high impact nudity look like, considering all we've seen in this game so far? Like, does it only get strong impact since most of the nudity are from things that aren't humans? Who knows? But that was uh, certified on the 8th of March. So I'm not sure how much has been done since then. This is the only one I know about. And it was posted on the Steam forums. And if you are interested in news about the game, that would be a pretty good place to go since the lead developer actually responds to questions there well, in any case that seems to be the state of the game right now they've done all they need to do on their part and now it's all the non-game development stuff that is largely out of their control hopefully you know, it goes by sooner than later since now that there's no real worry about the game being shittier due to rushing and hopefully it uh, goes up for pre-order soon because even though I don't intend to pre-order it the developer has mentioned that when it is open for pre-order they're going to release another trailer to sort of announce that which may or may not provide some more information about the game or show us some new stuff maybe a new area or whatever or some new demons I mean we've seen like a few demons that we've only seen briefly and don't know much about. There's a snake demon from the Floating Forest gameplay. There's a flying hell whale. There's also these demons that look sort of like the Onoskelis but have uh, like animal heads and wings and four arms. So like between those demons, the Onoskelis, the Succubus, and the red goddess versus the chort, the snake, and the spider thing, and the hell whale. That's so far like half titty demon, half non titty demon ratio. Just something funny to point out. I mean, I'm sure we'll get some more news soon. It, it's almost there. But it's still like a question of release date and how soon that should be considering getting the rating approval done and uh, whether they should release it so close to other titles being released. But we should get that information in like, you know, maybe two or three, three weeks at most. 
because people are getting really anxious about the whole March 30th thing and I don't think they can really ignore the issue for too long. Might be best just to post on their Facebook and Twitter whatever like an explanation for it. So that's about all I have to say on the subject. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.